special. Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors and we are doing another unboxing video. This company, King Bull, sent me their cargo bike, their Valkyrie. Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire Nice Outdoors and King Bull sent me their cargo bike, uh, their Voyager. It is a 750 watt motor uh, with a 17.5 amp hour battery that'll roughly get you about 30, 35 miles. Uh, it'll hold 440 pounds of weight. Uh, it's got 20 amp, uh, 20, uh, 20 inch rims, but yeah, it sounds like a really cool, and it's got a cool color to it. So let's get into it and let's build this thing. Right out the gate, the packaging is freaking perfect. Let's see, what is this? A uh, three amp, uh, 54 volt charger. That's insane. Is it? Oh, that's awesome. The best charger you can buy. That's good. Good for them. Put that right there. Packaging looks great. Pretty color. Let's see, let's get the thing opened up here. Where's my, there it is. Did it come off? When they reached out to me, uh, I took a look at their bike because I've done some cargo bikes before. And I thought, I've always thought they're a really neat idea. It's a plastic. Um, this bike is $1,400, $1,399. There's air in this, there's air in it. You gotta be careful because I got the fireplace running. Because it is cold outside, but not in here. Got mag rims. What is that? The front wheel axle. Let's see here. The bearings on here is really cool. I've not seen anything like it. Look at this. I want to show you this. Can you see that? It's like bearings on a car. That's cool. I'll just put that right there. I bet that rolls really nice. They say that this thing comes fully loaded, um, which is really cool because uh, a lot of the cargo bikes, you just get like the base model and then you just add to it. This one here, they say you get everything up front. Let's see what's all inside here. So toolkit and manual, I don't need that. And what is this? Man, the packaging is 11. Man, this is... Okay. This is nice. Um, does that come off? I hope so, because it's scratched. It does. So it's not scratched. It's perfect. This was scratched, though. Oh, they come with the cargo netting for the back. We have to put our own uh, screen on. All right, I'm just trying to put stuff out of the way. What else is inside here? It, headlight. Oh, we got some work to do. Oh, I'm familiar with these. Uh, these are good. They've got the little protective guard so you can't hurt it over the uh, lens. Oh, nice. All right, so it's got the foot pads, pads for the back. The back. Um, we've got to put on the pedals. I think this is for these. And it's got some Allen wrenches, a decent looking Allen wrench set. Using the fireplace, I don't have a table anymore. Just gonna put stuff over here. This is set up where you can um, have a passenger. Let's see, how do you do this? Some decent tools and that's pretty cool. Can you see those? Those are nice. That's cool for a universal tool. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got to do. We got some work to do. Keep my pocket knife out. Oh, so far it's pretty. Um, hmm. Look at the bamboo top. Let's see here. I'm gonna use my knife to cut all these straps. There we go. Look at that. You gonna shut? There you go. It's like stabbing me in my finger. What is this? Oh, they give you mirrors. That's cool. That looks neat. Got some mirrors on it. We'll put all this stuff together. We just gotta get it out first. Nice little seat. 
of these cargo bikes, they all come with really neat, um, you step on it and lift it up. Come on, which makes it easy to work with. It looks like it has the um, brake lights and turn signals on the back here. I'm trying to clean up a little bit. <sighs> Boom. So far, I'm impressed. Let's get it. Just trying to look for where they're trying to save money because this is a, a really nice bike. And the motor's big and the battery's big. Typically, what you would get for this uh, is the price points are typically right around 2000 or 2100 and you get a smaller battery and also it could be also a smaller motor um what's going on here come on i'm glad y'all are here to watch me struggle with the box I'm trying to put these staples back on all right let's grab this and put it back in the camera and lift this up that is nice let's grab a chair cargo bikes this is probably the best bang for your buck um and like they said they threw everything at it so you have foot pegs uh the cargo net i'll show you all that stuff when we get there let's see put that there so it looks like there's quite a bit of assembly here typically e-bikes will come about 80 percent built um this wow all right that's some big handlebars <laughs> it's huge all right where's the, the bell move it up there we go boom all right let's get the little allen wrench thing y'all remember where i put it oh i see it all righty let's put it on this on nope too big nice little tools they've given you most of the time when these uh there's no blue Loctite on them. That sucks. Especially on the stem here, you would probably want to put, if you've got some blue Loctite, I would put some blue Loctite on there. Here, y'all don't have to be so far away. Come here. But yeah, if you've got some uh, blue Loctite with you, you can get it at a hardware store. And these are quarter 20s, so these are, don't crank these down. You will break them. I've heard it. Um, I've been doing e-bike reviews for two years now and I've heard people break these stem, uh, these bolts here and then these bolts. Those are like the two main ones that I've heard that uh, people have broken uh, or even broken from the manufacturer. But make sure you put some Loctite on these, which I don't have any. And you'll probably do what I'm doing to say We'll do it later. This is a nice stem though. They actually make a, um, you see where there's a screw that goes down through here? They take that screw out and it, they have a plastic piece that comes out and down the side where you can put a bottle of water, which is neat. I bought one and uh, the downside is, is if you're trailering your bike, it broke on me. So that's uh, that sucked. So it's, that is a kind of a flimsy because all the only mounting point is that screw right there. Um, I like these Allens that they give you. It's got a rubber handle. It's got a grip on it, which is nice. I don't want to tighten it too tight because I got to. I don't want to ride like a crotch rocket. There we go. We'll adjust those at a later date. Boom and just tight, and then quarter turn tight and quarter turn we don't want to break it boom all right let's get this off get that off there we go all right so far this bike is cool man i like it it's got locks to lock out your shocks but honestly oh it's a hardtail that's not much travel you know what i mean but all right let's see how to get this off it gave us some tools curious if it's one of these got this or this I wonder if it's this 15 oh god jesus all right let's put that back up 
it's on a spring and it's see how hard it's leaning stay but stay cool because it is nice to have Are you serious the whole thing's a bolt all the way through how are you supposed to do that stay i want you to know i'm not typically a hothead i don't really get frustrated too often if you watch my channel in the past especially my adventure videos i will go through nothing i don't normally get upset about too many things but i don't like installing putting a bike together and it gives me anxiety you know what i mean it's it's frustrating i'm looking for there it is so they give you a so it's a washer and some spacers let's make sure we don't screw this up i wonder if you put it on here first put it on the bike because there's no little clip or anything i really like this one it's a little spacer a washer with a little holder on it a regular washer and then i guess a castle nut i'm not sure what goes the spacer goes in the middle please don't be hard this is like the most difficult part let's get this spacer off there's your spacer boom and you want to line up your your brakes first i think the spec yeah the spacer goes on the inside i've got it extremely loose come on all right that wasn't too bad so you want to move up the washer that has the little clip on it into the there's a hole on the top and before you tighten this one down barry you know to tighten this one put this all right so they're both on there i don't like this setup not a big fan but it's done it's over all right let's see it's a 15. don't act crazy so you'll need both wrenches there you go this one you can crank down on. All right. So when you get one of these, when you install one of these, make sure the long side is to the back and it typically will have like a little fishtail to it, just like that. So make sure that goes to the back. Um, and the short side is on the front here. And I doubt. Did they? Did they give you a tool for this? Let me grab this. They didn't. They didn't give you a tool for this. This is typically a 10 millimeter. It's not in here. Well, I've got a 10 millimeter. Oh, get it. Should be like right up here. Every one of them. That's a 10 millimeter. Is that a 10? Well, King Bull. Might have been a mistake. Hopefully yours has a 10 millimeter. There we go. I'll let them know. That it did not come with a 10 millimeter. Dang it. Missed it. I just want to try to get it the first try. Unless it's somewhere else. Well, if it comes up, I'll definitely tell you. But uh, as of right now, I don't. I do not have a 10 millimeter in this little setup. The packaging was impressive, wasn't it? All right. So pull this out. That goes through there. It's got this little ledge on the hand um, on the headlight tell you what they have made this extremely easy thank you for that king bull i ain't trying to tighten anything up just want to get it set up boom and then please be the sometimes it's not that's the weird part um the allens for the um fender will be two different types of uh, i don't know why that aggravates me but it just seems like you could have one tool to do it you know what i mean washer now what i've noticed riding um i'm not gonna tighten that yet uh riding bikes with smaller tires they're more sensitive and turning um they're just a little bit i don't want to say squirrely but um you know the smaller the wheels it spins faster it they they turn faster a little just more sensitive at the wheel um, versus a 26 or a 29 inch rim it might take a little bit longer to turn with them 
now I'm going to start cranking it down. Then this right here. So I don't want to say it's spooky, just as a learning curve, you know. Make sure that's there. And let's put this behind there. And orange to orange, I guess. A lot of them are color coded. There'll be an arrow. There it is. So that is done. Um, so let's do the pedals. We'll do the pedals and the um, little foot pegs. Let's do that. Foot pegs, pedals. All right. They've really got some high end parts on here. I'm trying to look. I'm glad that the prices of these things have gotten affordable. Like I said, this bike last year would have gone for like $2,100. Uh, and it would have been a, does it say left? It does. So that's rider's left. Um, oh, it says L on there too. Um, does it say? So this is lefty, left hand threads. But yeah, it would have been uh, $2,100. This would have been a 15 amp or a 14 amp battery with a 500 watt motor. And now it is, let's grab 1400. I just want to use this tool. I think it's cool 1400 and it's got a bigger battery and a uh, bigger motor which is cool there is some cheap parts on this like I said the black the plastic um, oh my gosh I'm doing it backwards which way do I do this there we go um, plastic fenders but look at this it's a pretty bike not even just the car color it's got the Har Harley Davidson orange um, which I don't know if I can say that. There we go. It's orange though, which means you could be seen. Found another thing to cut off. And Allen wrenches. All right. Super simple. Let's go back here. Can you see me? Come on over here. Pretty sure. Let's see. We might build this first. How's this go? Could have the wrong one. There we go. I did. So that goes there. So pop this off. You might want to have a pillow or something on your butt. But that doesn't look like it'll be super comfortable of a ride. So let's do this last. I'm gonna put these on now. Cause I don't see how I could put the Allen wrenches on here. Once I put those plastic pieces on, unscrew this. I tell you what, if you've got a drill, I wouldn't drill these back in, but uh, I would definitely lock the, this would be a lot faster if you had a drill. No uh, blue lock tight on anything. Guys, come on. That would be kind of important deal for me. Could you ride this just a little bit and it'll, uh, all this stuff can get loose on you. You don't want to worry about that type of stuff. You put blue Loctite on it and that's typically done. Oh, this is gonna suck. Dang it. Let me see. Maybe I have something a little bit better. Will this fit it? Please fit it. Oh, will that fit it? Man, no. Hold on. Got something here. It's hitting it where you can't turn it. Um, is that it? Show is. All right, so now this will be perfect. That is not the best tool for this job. Boom. And then tighten her down. What I like about cargo bikes is, man, you can really load them down. Um, 400, this one's 440 pounds. That's cool. I can put a hot tent, one of those titanium. Is that it? Let me see. Titanium uh, stoves. I can go get firewood. Fit once I get to camp. Um, bring a chair and a table. I think that way, because I'm, I'm more of a bush guy. I like, the, I like being in the woods. Um, take that bad boy down. <laughs> this is a two-seater. Straighten it down. All right. Boom. Oh, you have to sit on that. All right, well, I'm going to do the other side, and uh, 
then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do the front. All right, well, we are back. Those foot pedals are plastic. It's a metal frame, but um, the foot pedal itself is plastic. All right, so how do you do this? Does this open up? I'm not trying to break nothing here. There we go. All right, so put those here. Open that up. Now come on over and take a look with me. All right. So there's no hinge or anything here, so please don't break. I feel like spreading these apart. I'm not going to hurt it. Why are we having to put this on, guys? Don't break. Now uh, that came off right there. Can I put that on without hurting it? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to leave it down like this. Make sure it's in the groove. Because it's got these little Allen wrenches. Oh, I'm sorry. It's got these little uh, on the back here. And I've given up on the, the other Allen wrench. I like this a little better for stuff like this where you can just kind of twist your fingers. Oh, that is sucks. Okay, I found it. And make sure you've got a clean area. Come on. All right. What in the world? Am I doing this right? No, I'm not doing it right. That's what's wrong. Because the Allen, um, now why do I want to say Allen? This nut it's actually made exactly for it it's it uh come on man it fits in there snug so this i was doing it backwards which is about normal for me i seem to i don't want to tighten it too much because i gotta turn it all right so let's put this on here boom and boom come on not biting just not grabbing it come on I think I got it all right wow that sucks all right so lift this up I want to show you something I just seen it a lot of them used to do it and they stopped um, there's a USB uh, on the back bottom and I think the reason why they stopped was because it just doesn't charge it really fast it's really slow so their heads up there but they say what is this 48 volt a lot of them up top here 20 24 volt so that might it might charge it faster all right thank you up just a little bit all right now just line up the arrows there we go and i would assume i don't know if i would want that do I want it left-handed? It would have to be left-handed. Let's see here. Can I just get rid of this? What is that, a Phillips head? Let's just get rid of that. I just don't see that I ever need a, uh, I'm getting rid of the, the vacuum up just a little bit. I've just never needed the bell. You know what I mean? I'm usually like, to your left. This is the longest screw in the freaking world. All right. I'm just gonna uninstall that and probably do it like this where the power is no let's do it this way where the plus and minus here take a look where i'm thinking right there so there's a, a plus and a minus and then your power is here i think the plus and minus would probably be better this way so what size is that it's got one of those nuts is that too small it is all right oh man there we go got a really small nut on the back so and it's inserted where it's just molded straight to it so just make sure you've got a clean surface that you're working with because if this drops that's gonna be really hard to find I gotta spread this apart please don't break all right boom here let's let's get this on real quick hopefully it doesn't I lose that Allen or the why do I say Allen that nut I'm using that there we go okay cool all right so when i'm riding probably like that there we go it's got hydraulic brakes that's awesome i like that all right don't want to tighten it too much here let's back you up just a little bit boom all right 
<laughs> well, I need to adjust the seat for sure. You want to adjust your seat um, whoa, um, where your legs are extended. So a lot of people, um, you can damage yourself, but you can hurt your legs. Um, let me tighten this down. I'll show you real quick. When you're setting your seat up, you want to be able to uh, extend your leg. You don't want to be able to touch the ground. That's not, when you stop, you can just come off just like this. But you want your leg to extend. You don't want to just um, uh, um, not be able to fully pedal. It's like a piston. It needs to go out. Um, but, all right, I think we're all done here. Oh, the mirrors. They got room for mirrors on here? Let's look at these things. I like these grips. I, I'm, I don't care for the round grips. I have um, a little bit of nerve damage in my wrist from being awesome uh, my whole life. And uh, they, um, all right, let's just take it off and let's just see. This looks like the type of riding I do. Sometimes I'm on old country roads, which people ride kind of crazy on. Sometimes I wish I had a mirror like on my a helmet or something where I can see um, because so having a mirror is kind of cool I'm just not sure where, where I'm gonna put it the way they got this is so spooky there's no adjustment so you can't do that you got this um hmm I just don't like that I don't others can you adjust this Oh, you adjust the this. Gotcha. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the, this setup. I'll try to at least put one on. I gotta spread this thing apart. Boom. I don't like that. No, I'm not putting it on. I don't like it. These are not the, the greatest things. So, all right. Let's look at this. All right, so power. I wonder if there's something down here I need to worry about. What in the world? So there's a little lever. So you turn that on. All right, hopefully you can see that. It shows you the battery charge. That's cool. And then, all right, now we're back in the game. Can you see that? So light the bar. This is typically for two, two batteries. Battery two. This thing only has one battery. Pedal assist. One, two, three, four five um and then it's got zero miles there's your odometer i think can you sometimes there's like codes you can there's eco there's some codes where you can double push these here i ain't trying to screw anything up um let's push button it is turn signals yeah take a look at this oh, that's cool i wonder if it has brake lights yep brake lights turn signals throttle cable um hydraulic brakes it comes miles per hour which is nice it's got a seven speed shimato so that that's cool all right well let's wrap this video up real quick i can turn this off i don't need it on anymore huh i love the brakes so who is this for if you if you do love the woods if you want to pack out or hunt a deer it's not a bad hunting animal for um uh, carrying out your deer if you're wanting to go camping you can put a, quite a bit of stuff in here 17 and a half amp hour battery that's pretty awesome there's a lot of positive stuff on here the brakes are a little bit too high up i just want you to know you see how they're sitting up like this you want your brakes at a 15 degree angle so where you lift your wrist up you can you can uh grab it without lifting your hand up and then grabbing it that's just a safety thing. It need, they need to come down. I wonder if you can bring them down. No, nope, they've got it locked down. So they need to come down. The, the battery is removable. But yeah, I like this bike. And for $14.99, you get a lot of bike. I don't care for the freaking um, mirrors. That sucks. But I like this. I think it's a good bike. So if you like videos like this, hit the, um, subs um, the thumbs up. Hit the like button. And I will see you on the next video. I appreciate y'all watching.